Lakers in double figures. LeBron James, 23 straight games with 15, 5, and 5. He went with 27, 10, and 10. No big deal. It's another triple-double, Rob. Anthony Davis with 13, 9, and 2. Let's hear from AD. He's speaking with Mike in the media. That's that's nice to hear. Triple-double, we don't even Anthony, you guys really shut them down in the second half defensively. I just wanted to know what you talked about at halftime, if you made any adjustments, and, and how you saw that play out on that side of the floor. Um, we just said that we need to be better uh, defensively. Uh, we wasn't getting any stops. We know that um, we could score at will, but we needed to get some stops. And coach got on us at halftime about our energy and our pace. Um, you know, energy on the defensive end, our pace on the offensive end. And uh, you know, guys talked in the locker room, and we were able to come out in that third quarter and you know hold them to 17 points while playing. You know, scoring 30, 37 points. So um, our pace was was really good coming out of halftime. Eddie, what did you see from Schroeder? And I know we can focus in part on that play where he hit the floor twice with the dive, but just on both sides of the floor, what did you see from Dennis tonight? Uh, he made some big shots. He made some big plays. Um, I think it started with the hustle play. He gave my energy back up. Uh, he hit two big time threes. Um, could have been three. You know, I bad pass to him in the corner. It went out of bounds. He was wide open, but um, you know, he, he's he's making big plays for us. Uh, he's picking up 94 feet. He's um, everywhere, his hands are on the ball. Um, you know, he's finding the, the right guys on the offensive end. Um, so he's doing everything for us. Dave. Hey, D. Jokic came into the night getting so much credit. You know, you gave it to him yesterday, uh, rightfully so. One of the better um, assist guys in the league this year. In the context of that, What's it like seeing LeBron do his thing, particularly his, his passing type, some of the, the assists he was able to collect? Yeah, I mean, he's, he's a great passer. Um, you know, he found some guys on some great passes tonight. Guys made shots for him. But he's always, <coughs> excuse me, he's always looking to make the right pass um, and the right play. And, you know, guys on double team, he's going to find the right guy. And if not, then he's going to score the basketball. So he, he made some um, some good passes tonight, uh, which he does every night. And, um, you know, tonight we were able to, to knock down shots for him. Bill, how much um, credit do you give Jalen uh, in that run you guys had to get in the third and early in the fourth? And then, as a second, second to that, how has he earned the trust of this of this really veteran team? Yeah, man, a lot of credit goes to him. I mean, he came in um, doing good things defensively, scoring the basketball on the offensive end, uh, making the right plays, and. Uh, you know, we trust him. I know he's young, but he wants to be, you know, in a, in a game when when it's crunch time. Um, we can throw him at any, uh, throw him in a game at any point, and he's going to make plays for us. Um, you know, he, he's a, a young player who wants to learn, uh, who wants to get better, and I think the only way you can do that is with experience. And um, you know, he goes and he, he's not afraid of anyone. Um, heart of a lion. Um, you know, he he's, was on a championship team last year, so he know what it takes, and I think it was good for him just to be around, um, even though he didn't get that much playing time last year, but um, just being around it and knowing, um, being around, you know, all the veterans and all the guys, um, he, he know what we expect from him, um, he, and he comes to bring it every single night. Dan? Hey, Dan, when you say you guys talk at halftime and, and Frank got after you a little bit, is it a, I call? What the fuck is that? And then, hey, were, were guys pretty frustrated or, or was it uh, kind of a, a, a calm and, and confident sort of locker room? Um, no, Coach jumped on us a little bit, like I said, about our energy. Um, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't good enough. You know, it, you know, we know coming back from a long trip, you know, that, that first game was always tough, but we weren't trying to buy into it. And he didn't want us to buy into that. And uh, like I said, he jumped on us about our energy, you know, and our pace. Energy on the defensive end, our pace on the offensive end, and um, he got after us. And it was it was right, uh, you know, it was right that he did that. It was well deserved because we were playing sloppy um, and not with a lot of energy. Um, you know, a lot of guys, you know, including myself, um, had b bad body language. Um, you know, frustrated about the game, and you know, we came in and we fixed it at halftime. You know, coach talked to us, and and, and you know, we came out and played with a lot of energy, and you see, we won a 37-17 run in the third. Last two, Kyle. Hey, D. Obviously, um, a lot of guys picking up the offense tonight. You had eight shots. Um, 
you know, that's a little bit less than you obviously usually take. Is that um, your assertiveness? Is that something Denver's doing to you on defense? What was sort of the balance of, of how many shots you're able to take tonight? Um, you know, guys is making, you know, shots and, and making the right plays. But I think for me, anytime I call on the post, they came right on the catch. So it's my job to draw a double team. Um, if I do that, then I did my job and kick it out to our guys. And, um, you know, the shots I, I were able to get were, you know, off a of pick and roll. Um, and, you know, even if I caught it in the middle of the floor, guys was coming to, to come, uh, coming to the ball. Um, and I was kicking out to our shooters. But, you know, uh, a lot of people have been talking about my offense and, you know, how this year has been a slow start and everything offensively. But, I mean, I'm a, I'm a two-way player. I don't rely on offense for me to, you know, have a great season. Um, you know, I'm doing you know, everything I can on the defensive end, you know, deflections tonight, block shots, rebounds, and things like that to help the team. Um, so when you're a two-way player, um, you don't have to rely on one aspect of your game, which is scoring. You know, I can, I can help my team win uh, on the defensive end and uh, make shots when I need to. Last question, Anthony DeVille. Hey, Dean. Um, coming into a game like tonight against the Nuggets team facing the Western Conference Finals last year, do you look at stuff like the rankings, how they how they change back and forth? You know, you guys are up at the one, and then another day you guys might not be in the first. Is that you guys kind of like building some more material coming into a regular season game against the team you face in the West Finals? You said I, I didn't hear the first part of the question. Something like that. Um, do you pay attention to the rankings? Oh, the like rankings. How they kind of switch, you know, go up and down a little bit. Does that fire you up, give you goals for material coming into a game against a team faced in the finals, the West Finals last year? Oh, uh, no, nah, not really. Um, you know, we just want to be a better home team. Uh, we're pretty solid on the road at home. We're. Uh, now we're over 500, but uh, we're a 500 ball club, and you know all the good teams are good at home. So our motivation is just being good at home. Our next, you know, 11 out of 15 are at home. Well, it was after to, uh, before tonight. So uh, we got a really good chance of doing something special at home, uh, taking care of home court. So that's our motivation, just to win. But um, no matter where we are in the standings, um, you know, obviously we want to be first, and you know that's our goal. But um, I don't think that's gonna you know, change our mindset, like, oh, we need to play to get first or, you know, you know, a different team is in first and, you know, that motivates us. Our motivation is just coming out and winning basketball games and let, you know, the standards and the rankings take care of itself. Thank you so much, Amy. Yeah. Second game of the Lakers' five-game homestand is on Saturday against the Pistons. Game time's at 7. We'll get you started with Access Sportsnet Lakers at 6. Much more ahead. LeBron James messed around and got a triple-double 27-10 and 10. We'll hear from King James ahead. Access Sportsnet Lakers.